Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two cases of fibroid uterus. You are going to see the first case. You can see a large mass in the middle portion of the uterus at close to the posterior wall. Uterine fibroids most often appear on ultrasound as concentric, solid, hypoechoic masses. This appearance results from the prevailing muscles which is observed at histological examination. These solid masses absorb sound waves and therefore cause a variable amount of accosting shadowing. Now you can see the blood flow in the fibroid. No significant blood flow is seen in the fibroid and the fibroid looks to be homogeneous in ecogenicity, round to oval in shape, semi solid to solid in consistency, no fluid is seen in or around the mass. Many fibroids contain changes in genes that differ from those in normal uterine muscle cells. Estrogen and progestins, two hormones that stimulate development of the uterine lining during each menstrual cycle in preparation for pregnancy, appear to promote the growth of fibroids. Fibroids contain more estrogen and progesterone receptors than the normal uterine muscle cells do. Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growth of the uterus that often appear during childbearing years. Fibroids range in size from seedlings undetectable by the human eye to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. Fibroids may be single or multiple ones. Now you can see clearly see the fibroids down to oval in shape. Uterine fibroids are generally harmless and often go away on their own when symptoms occur. However, untreated fibroids can interfere with the person's quality of life and may lead to complications such as anemia. Homogeneous hyperechoic masses in the uterine cavity on ultrasound are highly suggestive of endometrial polyps. But the myometrial ecogenicity of uterine fibroids may vary and it may be hypoechogenic, isoechogenic, or hyperechogenic or mixed, which depends on the size and nature of the fibroids. Now you can see. You have seen this video and this fibroid muscles measures about 4.2 cm into 3.9 cm. Quite a large fibroids. Now you are going to see the second video and in this case the fibroid is even larger than the previous fibroid you seen in the first video. Fibroids are almost always benign, non-cancerous, rarely less than 1 in 1000 is a cancerous fibroid. This is called leomyosarcoma. You can see the large fibroid and these fibroids is seen in the middle and distal portion of the uterus near the posterior wall, near the posterior wall. It is round to oval in shape, semi-solid to solid in consistency. No fluid is seen in or around the mass. Now fibrins are abnormal growths that develop in or on the uterus. These tumors may become quite large and cause a severe abdominal pain and heavy men's periods. In some cases, they cause no sign or symptoms at all. These fibrins are typically benign. Are non cancerous, the cause of the fibroid is unknown. Now you can see the transverse view of the uterus, and you can see the majority of the, the most of the uterine pain chyma has been involved 
are engulfed by this large fibroid. Now again you will see the blood flow. A small blood flow is seen in the rim region. Now fibroids are also known by the following names. Leomyomas, myomas, uterine myoma, myoma fibro, fibromas. According to some researchers, almost 80% of the women have them by the age of 50. However, most women didn't have any symptoms or may never know they have fibroids. Now, the types of the fibroids. The types of the fibroids depends on its location in or on the uterus. Intramural fibroids, these are the most common types of fibroids. These types appear within the muscular wall of the uterus. Intramural fibroids may grow larger and can stretch the uterus. Then there are subserosal fibroids. These fibroids form on or outside the uterus, which is called serosa. They, they may develop large enough to make uterus appear bigger on one side. Then there are pedunculated fibroids. And subserosal fibroids can develop a stem, a cylinder base that supports the tumor. These are known as pedunculative fibroids. Then there are submucosal fibroids. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.